Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Introducing the all-new seven-passenger GL. Are we there yet? We are. For now. Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. We live in the Lower East Side. Uh, we share this apartment with four kids, a uh, 20 year old, an 18 year old, an eight year old, and a five year old. We have a firm together called Slade Architecture. It's in the financial district on Chamber Street in Manhattan. We've done a lot of uh, apartment renovations in New York City for all different types of families, from single hedge fund managers to families with four kids, and, and obviously in New York, uh, often bankers. <laughs> The way we design the house, the spaces that we enjoy and spend most of our time in are the communal spaces, the living room, dining room, and kitchen. We were really focused on designing it so that people have nooks and crannies to kind of retreat to, and we wanted to create distinct areas that they could kind of own and feel a little bit of independence in. Because of the age uh, groups, you know, they have very different needs. And so when we were looking at the teenager space, we felt that they needed their own space where they could hang out with friends, listen to music, and not feel like they were being attacked and bombarded by the small kids who are lovely, but they can be a little overwhelming. Uh, so what we did is we created a sort of suite for them where they have a, two small sort of sleeping nooks almost and a shared kind of living space. We felt very strongly that we should have uh, as much storage as we could so that it didn't take over the space. And so obviously the, the whole perimeter, actually all of the walls that uh, are adjacent to neighbors are storage walls essentially, uh, even the L shape, so it's the larger edge of the L. The other thing that the strategy uh, allows for is that by placing all the storage on the outside of the L, those are the party walls that we share with our neighbors. So it creates a sort of thick buffer between us and our neighbors, which is important when you have four kids and uh, two of them are eight and five. Designing in Manhattan is always challenging because we tend to have very small spaces. We have 1,600 square feet. I think in Manhattan that's a nice size apartment, but you know, with six people living in it, I think many people across the country would say, wow, that's, that's really tight. Inevitably, you do sacrifice some things living in the city. You don't have a backyard, you don't have a big garage, you don't have an attic. But um, one of the things that we like is that we do live near the East River, so we have a very big park, we're on the river, and we like the idea that, that we have this outdoor space, but it's shared. It doesn't have to be our outdoor space, it can be a space that we share with the community. Choosing the Lower East Side and, and choosing to stay in Manhattan also uh, was kind of strategic uh, in the long term because we think that Manhattan is a very dynamic place where people like to live, especially young professionals, and we thought, okay, after our kids go off to school, there's a much higher chance that they're going to want to come back and live near us if we're in Manhattan, if we're in the Lower East Side, even better. So that was also part of the thinking that, you know, hopefully our kids like New York as much as we do and they'll be back. 